Okay, people, so I just finished reviewing the Sennheiser Momentum 3 earbuds. I briefly went over the app on, in that video. I'm now gonna go over the Smart Control app in complete detail. And you know what? I recorded this video already early this morning. I forgot to record my screen on my phone, so now I gotta do it over again. I mean, the good news is that I already know the app inside and out. The bad news is that I have to record this damn video again. Golly, y'all don't know my struggle. Y'all can't tax my hustle. Anyways, let me get to the show. Oh, oh yeah, we're on the intro, Nick. I wanna see some love, it's love day. I'm sure people love out here on the court. What's going on YouTube? Nicholas here with Tech Love TV. We don't discriminate and we believe all tech deserves some love. Okay, people, so as soon as you get this, what you wanna do is go ahead and download the Smart Control app, which I do have right here. Open that up. Connect these earbuds to your mobile device through your Bluetooth settings and then open up the app and then it should already be connected that way. It'll run through like a setup process. So this is exactly what you'll see when you first run the app. Um, it says, hello, next screen, insert, tells you how to fit these earbuds into your ears, tells you how to pair. If they don't automatically go into Bluetooth pairing mode, also, you got your left controls, you got your right controls. That's It just talks about it briefly, and then you have your earbud customization. Just giving you a brief overview of what you're going to expect inside this app. You click on your icon, and this is the splash screen right here. So, as you can see, at the top left, you have these three lines. And underneath these three lines, when you click that, it'll go back to the main screen, which is your devices. And it shows you all the devices you have connected to this app. As you can see, I already have these connected. On the top right, you have this cut out of this little person right here. Click on that. It gives you all your account info. As you can see, my username on the Sennheiser, and this Sennheiser app is Hollywood Nikki. That you can see my email address. And then you can go and manage account, sync data, log out, delete Sennheiser account, and all of that good stuff. App settings, you come in here, um, set your language, English, Chinese simplified, Chinese traditional, French, German, Japanese, Korean, Russian, or Spanish. You can also do an app reset right there. You got your app version. App intro. Um, It'll tell you all new overview, put you back in control, explore new features. In the world of Sennheiser, in the discovery section, and unlock new features with the Sennheiser account. Continue. Um, you have your help, frequently asked questions sections, feedback, permissions, privacy, license, and imprint as well. Now going back to the main screen, as you can see, you have your earbud name right here so it's the momentum true wireless threes you see your bluetooth connected status right here you have your battery icon for your earbuds and also your battery icon for your charging case okay now underneath all of that you have your connection management uh you click on that it'll tell you exactly what device that you are connected to at that time go back underneath connection management you have your equalizer so right here what is really dope about this right here is that you do have your presets if i click the arrow drop down right here so you have rock pop dance hip-hop classical movie and then the two presets that i set up in a different section is push a t and my sound check preset. So you can delete any one of those you don't want on there, or you, you can add more to your presets right there. And then adding more is just adjusting the equalizer tabs right here and then uh, save as a new preset. Now, sound check, what sound check would do, you go in here, uh, you click on sound check, and you run through the steps right here. It will create a different preset for you. So let me see if I have something queued up already. So when I press play, I don't know if you can hear this, but I have music playing on my ears from the Epidemic Sound app, and then it says start sound check. So with music playing, what you're gonna do is start your sound check, and then you pick which one sounds better to you, A, B, or C. Just for the sake of this video, very quickly, I'm gonna just run through this. So I'm gonna say C sounds good. The next page, I'm gonna say A sounds good. And then on this one, I'm gonna say B sounds good. And it created equalizer preset. So then it automatically creates this preset and you can save as new. I already have my sound check preset already set. So I'm gonna say this is my sound check preset two. Hit done. Hit save as new preset. Hit okay. And now if I go into presets, 
as you can see, my sound check preset, it, one of them should say two. I made one this morning and I just made one in front of you, so the second one should say two. The more times you run this sound check, the more you will have new presets. So you can run this sound check if you like listen to a different genre of music, listen to a podcast, listen to a movie. You can change the preset on here so that maybe not a movie, but diff definitely different uh, genres of music. You can set the preset on here so you can just adjust it to different uh, types of music that you listen to if you don't want to already rock with the presets that are already in here you can make your own that's what sound check is firmware update i am 1000 percent sure that this firmware update should say transparency mode and the reason why i say that is because all these different items right here they're called tiles so if i click on settings go to the bottom right here i can adjust my tiles and it says transparency mode it doesn't say firmware update maybe i do need to update the firmware on here but i have tried multiple things and i couldn't figure out how to update the firmware on this app so if you know please let me know in the comment down below so let me go back to here it says firmware update like i said it should say transparency mode now the good thing about this i do have my transparency mode set for one tap on the left ear button so if i click with music that means when i hit transparency mode it will go into transparency mode but the music will keep playing now if i hit pause music it will go into transparency mode and the music will pause so let me go ahead and show you how that works so i'm gonna play some music turn that down just a little bit uh if i hit transparency mode it's off transparency mode hit transparency mode again music pauses it goes into transparency mode and the same thing with music on if i hit it again it go off hold on let me play the music go off and then now it's in transparency mode with the music playing it's very dope that sennheiser gives you the option i haven't seen that option on any other app before so um they are doing something different when it comes to transparency mode that the noise cancellation is the same thing so you either have it on you have it or anti-wind or you have it off so it's the same thing so if i have it on anti-wind i have it set to three clicks on the left earbud Okay, so as you can see, that turned it off. Now, if I hit it three times again, that turns it back on, but it's on anti-win. Now, if I had it on, it'll go back to off. And if I do it again, it'll go back to on. So whatever you pick right here, however you want it, um, you ever have it on or off or anti-win or off. And then you also have new sound zones right here. What sound zones is, the sound zone feature allows you to automatically apply your sound settings when entering or leaving a zone. Create your own sound zones. You can create up to 20 zones for your home, work, gym, etc., and put your sound setting on autopilot. So what that means is when I go in here, if I want to create a new sound zone, let's just say for my house right here, I will set a radius. I can set the noise control for what it should be when I'm at home. Also, the equalizer, what I want it to be when I'm at home. And then also when I'm leaving the zone, I can set the noise control and the equalizer. So you could do that. Let's just say you're at work or you're at the gym, whatever. You can set that radius and it'll tell exactly where you are and it'll automatically switch over to exactly how you want it when you're in that location. So um, that's pretty dope. I do like that, that it's actually learning your location. Some people might not like that, but I really don't care. If they want to find you, they're going to find you regardless. And the last tile at the bottom is your touch control. So with people not wanting to have accidental touches i do believe that sennheiser did a pretty good job with these earbuds to avoid accidental touches just the way that they're shaped in my opinion you can turn touch controls on or off if you are getting accidental touches or you don't want to use the touch surfaces at all but other than that you can go ahead and click customize and you can customize whatever you want your left ear or your right ear to be so if you click on the top one these are your different options and these are the same options for all the different icons left or right for double tap single tap triple tap and hold and then also you do have the touch controls for answering a phone call now these are not able to be changed you cannot change these at all so um don't worry about even changing those that is what it is on that one and then also you have the discovery tab at the bottom and what the discovery tab is is just uh some news that uh sennheiser will send out and want you to be aware of um whether it's new products or maybe a firmware update but different things on the discover tab right here that sennheiser is curated for their consumers and then you also have your settings right here so underneath your settings you can control smart pause so what that means is when you take your earbud out your ear when music playing it automatically pauses music you put it back in your ear it'll play your music if you didn't know that already auto accept calls i would never have that on auto power off 
I have it set for 15 minutes, you have 30 minutes, 60 minutes, and never. Tone and voice prompts, so you could have all of that off. You can have tone only, or you can have voice and tone. I do believe if you change this language of the app, it'll change the language of the voice prompts right here. You have your codex right here, and that's telling you exactly what codex is playing at the time that you're listening to that type of music. You have your model name right there. You can't change that. You have your factory reset and you also have your tabs, the ones that you can cut on or off if you think that the main screen is too crowded. So I would cut connection management off, equalizer on, sound check, leave that on transparency mode leave that on adaptive noise cancellation leave that on sound zones i'll cut that off because i will never use that and touch controls i will leave on and you know what maybe i will turn sound check off as well so now I'll go back to my device and as you can see i do have only four tiles instead of the seven that normally come here when you first start this up and that's all i got for you people that is my full review of the smart control app by sennheiser with these sennheiser momentum 3 truly wireless earbuds if this is your first time here or if you found any value in this video whatsoever, please smash that subscribe button down below and don't forget, hit that bell icon so you get notification when I drop my next tech video. As always, thanks for stopping by the Tech Love channel. My name is Nicholas and I'm out. Peace.